Any raver kids out there? Nope. Not since 2005, Dayton. Okay then. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, welcome back to Project Zomboid. We seem to have slept through the night relatively safely in the bank. Um, I've also decided that this bank might make a, a pretty decent place to hold up. I will need to get some sheets and things like that, but that's not so uh, difficult to do. And then maybe I could just like lock down this place as a little town or something like that. First I want to get this guy out of here. Hey, buddy. Come on out. There you go. There's a good boy. There's a good stupid. Alright. So, um, first things first, probably need to cut up some trees and things like that, as per usual. Um, but I will need to be careful while doing it, because there's a shit ton of zombies absolutely everywhere I look. So, not going to be fun, I will say that much, but we're gonna get it done. No worries. And uh, I'll waste a little durability on my axe here. There. Die. <laughs> Obviously not so skilled with the uh, the axe compared to the baseball bat. Which is uh, the way I like it. I do suppose. Let's chop this tree. Come on. Hopefully we don't attract too many zombies. It seems like they're all spaced out. No problems thus far. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm gonna probably need to start by uh, boarding up these windows and things like that. Do we have nails? I think I brought some nails, yeah. Not enough to build a base of my very own, but definitely enough to uh, start boarding up some of these windows and things like that. So that is going to be the plan, at least for now. Um, if it goes horrible, then I might uh, head out just a little bit and see if I can't put up some, uh, some barricades somewhere else, make my own little house. But at the moment, I think this seems like a relatively good option. So, um, basically just gonna be an episode of chopping down trees and the like. But that's just fine. You gotta do what you gotta do. I do want to dip into the mall at some point, and, uh, we will end up filling that, that bank up with absolutely every imaginable item that I could find in there. So let's grab all of this, and I'll bring it over to the window before I start, uh, chopping it up. I think that's a good thing to do. Movement speed highly reduced. Well, that's fine. Everything's okay here, right? <laughs> so far, maybe. All right. Um, where's my saw? Oh, God damn it! Doctor's bag, and then saw. I need to move that that saw. I suppose. Why did it get switched? I don't understand. When I'll probably watch the replay and be like, oh, duh. You're doing everything wrong, Dayton. Just like usual. <laughs> uh, it probably got switched out when I put those uh, planks into my hand. So, okay. There's one window, nice and barricaded. We're gonna get a second one together. Work quickly. Because this is a place where uh, there's, there's not an unlimited amount of time. There's fucking zombies absolutely everywhere. Alright. So we've got two windows barricaded. This is fucking large. Um, it is a big place to defend, but I I think it's possible to do it. Um, I mean, I've cleared out a bunch of zombies and shit already. So let's see if we can. Uh, okay, come on. <laughs> Just trying to get everything in the proper order. This bitch tried to jump me. What are you doing? All she's got is a penny. One cent. Ah, huh. O.J. Simpson was trapped inside of a penny. He was innocent. Ha ha ha. No, he wasn't. <laughs> he fucking murdered his girlfriend. Everybody knows that. Don't try and deny it, O.J. Simpson. I know you're watching. <laughs> no, he's not. Why would he? That's fucking silly. I don't think I can saw these while walking. No. That would be uh, pretty stupid. <laughs> you're not gonna cut the wood up very well if you're doing it while you're walking. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm halfway thinking like making my own base would be a smart idea, but this bank doesn't look that broke up. So, um, I, I did have a good night's sleep since the last episode and I've given it some thought how we're gonna do this 
and there's plenty of storage. I can build some more, um, some more shelves and things in the bank if that's what I need. So I think it's a relatively good idea, maybe, if I can find some sheets to hang on the door. Or even barricade up the fucking doors, and then, uh, is there a second floor? I probably should have thought this out a lot more than I did. I don't think there's a second floor to this bank. There is a second floor to the bank that's across from my, uh, my hoose, but... The hoose is a long way from here, I tell you what. Alright, so there's another one done. Okay. Got a friend. Hello, friend. How you doing, buddy? Let me just, uh, let me get ready for you here. Can't have company un unexpected. My house is a mess. I mean, yeah, it is. Look at all this fucking trash. Where'd all this fucking trash come from? I guess it just collects. Gets blown about by the wind and such. But look, there's giant fucking planks and... Oh my god. And a man being murdered. And a man being murdered. Maybe somebody had the same idea that I had. They're like, I'm gonna hold up in the movie theater. Oops, I'm dead. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, there's gonna be a back way out of the bank. I really, uh, need to survey it just a little bit more. But action, I think, is the way to go. I just want to get on the road. Get back in the mall. Start looting that shit. Can, can I hit this? Hello? Anybody? <laughs> oh my. Alright, so we got a shit ton of logs here. I'm going to need to be very careful not to break my back right about now. And if I get caught up by a zombie, then uh... Yeah. That could be the end of the Dayton Does. And what if I, like, run away from the zombie and end up, uh, just breaking my back from the heavy load? That would be the shittest thing that has ever happened to anyone in life. Probably. I don't know. There's a lot of shit or stuff that could happen, you know. You get stomach cancer, or, you know, your mom dies of AIDS, or... <laughs> I don't wish any of those things for anyone ever. But, uh, they do happen, occasionally. Fucked up stuff happens in life, and there's not a lot that we can do about it sometimes. And I think that's extremely frustrating, because, you know, I like to think that I'm in control of my own destiny, something like that. But then, you know, your, your five-year-old daughter gets, uh, purpura, HSP. <laughs> and that's a real story. And then, uh, we had to spend, like, five days in the hospital just wondering, like, wow. Her immune system is ta attacking her own body, and I feel, like, really powerless to, uh, stop anything or help her. And that is extremely fucking frustrating. I don't like that at all. But occasionally, yeah. That's just life. Sometimes. Sometimes. God, I see zombies wandering around over here. Gots to be careful. And I'm, uh, relatively low on exertion as well. So how many planks we got? We could do at least another window, but that guy's fucking hanging out. Let's see if I can do another window from the inside. I think that would be a nice thing. But anyways, yeah. I, um... I just don't like that feeling of helplessness, you know? I oftentimes think that, uh, I'm in control of everything and got everything, uh, locked down, you know? What, what could happen to me that's bad? Nothing! I'm the fucking king of the world, man. But that's not the case. Sometimes shit just pops up in your life and you're like, Oh my god. This is terrible. <laughs> and that zombie just got to walk by the window. Alright, didn't see me? That's, that's fine. Let me finish barricading this up. Go for a little rest. Not sleep. Just some rest. We woke it up at a good hour today. So, uh... I just want to secure the bank. Secure the bank just a little bit more. And we can enjoy an MRE. That's that's always a nice thing. I'm going to eat it all. Because I'm a big fat pig. And you never know when your life is going to be over. That's another thing that you can't control. It's just like, fuck. <laughs> I can get hit by a bus tomorrow. And it's like, whoops. I'm sure the bus driver's going to feel bad for about 30 seconds. And then he's going to be like, oh well. I move on with my life because I'm still alive. Well, good for you. Good for you, you stupid fuck. <laughs> oh, man. I really hope I don't get hit by a bus. I just like to go peacefully in my sleep if uh, if I can make a request. 
but you don't get to make requests either. <laughs> That's not the way any of this works. You just uh, have the cards that you're dealt. Oh my god. Wow. If he didn't make a noise, I really would have got bitten because I was concentrating on what was uh, what was inside my bag and what was inside my head. What was inside my heart? Can't you see? I'm a man. I'm just a man with a heart. It's made of stone. It's not even made of stone. My heart is made of squishy things. <laughs> so is everyone's, but m my heart, you know, I actually uh, feel like it and act like it most of the time. Did you know that I cry a lot? <laughs> 700 subs video, I ended up crying. I, did I don't want my heart to be so squishy. I don't want it to be affected by all this shit, but sometimes it is. Sometimes it just is. So, uh, in other news, the bank got locked up pretty securely, pretty quickly. So I'm super excited about that. I think I'm just gonna stash the rest of these planks. Oh, I can't. Okay. Well, I'll take these, uh, goods, and I will hide them somewhere else. Oh, there's also twine. <gasps> Delicious twine! You will be mine. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm relatively satisfied with that. I should have brought some sheets or something for the front door, but, um, hindsight's 2020, you know? Just double check that I, uh, didn't actually bring some sheets. Because <laughs> I could be talking out of my ass. You know that happens sometimes. Zoom teams. Alright, so we're looking pretty good to go. I think I'm ready to, uh, get into the mall, fill up these bags with bullshit, and uh, we'll run it back to the bank. I could leave some stuff, axes and things like that, but i um, not really interested in absolutely uh, loading myself down because I still want to take some of this stuff back to my hoose at some point. That might be a rather good idea instead of just fucking leaving it here. So we should run into the, the side of the mall um, that is near nearest the food court. There are still a shit ton of zombies out here. Kind of makes me wish I would have brought the shotgun, but we decided against it. Got to stick with our decisions. Just, uh, just like in cooking, just like in life. You make a decision, that's what you got to do. And uh, I think it was a good decision. I mean, we're not dead yet. <laughs> so that's good news. All right, let's see if I can just book it down here a little bit. Dogs going absolutely fucking nuts outside, so I apologize for that. I don't know whose fucking dog it is. If I knew for sure whose dog it was, and uh, I didn't like that person, I would not hesitate to poison it. <laughs> yeah, I'm that guy. Hello, nice to meet you. My name's Dayton Does. I don't give a shit. Like, I'd be really mad uh, if somebody poisoned my dog, and that's why I haven't done it yet. I want to make sure it's like the landlord's dog, or somebody who's a dick. And then I will. I don't give a fuck. Right? There's uh, somebody banging around inside. My exertion is not dropping as quickly as I'd like. Probably because I'm busy beating zombies to death. Hey, friend. Hey, pally. How you doing, buddy? Please lay down. Please lay down and let me smash your head with this baseball bat. Please? I'll be your best friend. No, I won't. I won't, because I hate you. Oh my god. There's so many zombies. Just wandering out of the mall. Okay. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Probably shouldn't leave that door open. God. Piss. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Everything's fine. Just gotta be sneaky. Sneaky peeky. Alright. Maybe I can get some rest. No, there's there's zombies all over the food court. I just need a little bit of rest. Moderate exertion. Oh, fuck. About here. This is a, a corner of the food court that looks relatively abandoned, so I'm going to chance it. Keep my head on a swivel. Who knew there would be so many people in the in the food part? I guess it makes sense, you know. If you're, if you're starving in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, why not go to the place where there's a bunch of food? 
Corn dogs. Corn dogs don't go bad. I don't care what zombie zomboid says. Zombie zomboid. <laughs> Whatever this fucking game is called. Ah. <sighs> I don't even think the mall is that great of a place to be, if you want me to be completely honest. Like, uh, you know, a lot of the shops are just junk. What are you going to do with fucking clothes? Make a Molotov, and that's about it. There's not a whole lot of use for uh, much at all. Oh, I brain that guy so good. There we go. Brain another one. Hey, buddy. Can you stop that? Can you stop that? Just stop that. Thank you so much. I require complete silence in the mall slash library. Alright, now I gotta be careful of uh, loading issues again. Because last time we were here, uh, zombies would just spawn around me, seeming out of nowhere. So we need to move slowly through the mall. Box of nails, yes, this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, wire and twine, and more fishing fucking, uh, fishing net traps. Yes, this is what I want. These are all good things. Mmm, wood glue. Don't mind if I do. Mmm, box of nails, got seven so far. That's looking pretty good. There's so many axes and things. If I was in need of an axe, I would uh, be in heaven right now. But I've got a lot of axes. I've been around the world, alright kid? I know all about this fucking place. Mm, more wood glue? Sure. It's good for repairing the, the baseball bats and whatnot. And I know I'm gonna end up breaking them. Well, you can't even repair the fucking, uh, the aluminum ones. Maybe you can if you get some metal working under your belt, but at the moment, I don't have no metal working know how. Which is a shame. There's probably a new job and all this. I, I wish I could change my job. I guess I could if I open up the, uh, the menu or whatever, but you need like console commands to do that, and if that's the case, I'll probably end up shutting off the power on myself. <laughs> Just because it hasn't happened yet, I'll be like, you know what? Fuck this! This is what's happening now. Make it interesting for me. I'm really uh, excited for when the power goes off. It hasn't happened, but I know it's gonna step things up considerably. Wire, twine, yes. Don't need thread. Do need fishing net trap. I'm gonna take all of this. Good. Excellent. And we haven't even fucking hardly cleared out this hardware store. It's got absolutely everything that I could want as far as uh, all that goes. So many boxes of nails. I could do so much stuff with this. Too bad I'm lazy and don't really want to. <laughs> uh, I could do so much stuff with this, but I'm probably not going to. I'm just taking it with me. Hmm. Some wire. We've got way more twine than wire, which is good, because I think we have more wire than twine back at the base. So I'm not, uh, complaining. Just making an observation. A simple observation. Is that okay, sir? 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 Can I finish? Can I finish? Okay, I'm finished. <laughs> uh, ah! Ha ha ha! Alright. We've done pretty good clearing this place out. I want to see what else is in the mall. I don't necessarily want to fill up on everything at the hardware store. So we should probably just uh, have a little look around. Should we not get into some more trouble and things like this? Hmm, I probably should clear the uh, exit path if that's what I'm going to do. I saw some zombies in this hallway. Left the fucking door open like a nerb. Like a nerby nerb. That's a noob. But I said it weird. See, it's for comic effect. I like saying noob in a weird way for comic effect. I like saying weird oh. words, like Tom Green. Oh God! Back to that shit again. Well, these zombies seem to be coming out rather than going in, so maybe it's a, a good idea to leave the door open. But no, I don't want to get caught. Oh, my God! Almost got caught. <laughs> 
Oh, and I tried clearing this hall, but like, yeah, there's just so much shit. So many zombies everywhere. It's terrible. There's a, a green glow stick. Any raver kids out there? Nope. Not since 2005, Dayton. Okay then. <laughs> I will refrain from asking that question. Nowadays, if you like to do uh, all those designer drugs or whatever, they just call you a fucking burnout. Because uh, that's what it is. That, that's what it is. That's what you are. You are a burnout. Um, I think this is just closed in here. But I've passed by it a few times, so I figured I should come take a look. And I really don't like how it goes all dark behind me. Um, um. Let me just go over this way. Hello. Hello. Lay down. Let's see. Ooh, there's a key. I need this. I need this, I don't know why. Okay, it is close. Belts and socks and a bunch of bullshit. A bunch of bullshit I don't need, I ain't interested in. Ooh, here's uh, the jewelry store. Zales, or uh... I think that's the only jewelry store that I know. <laughs> At least in America. In the Philippines, they've got Ocampo's! Ocampo's jewelry stores! Over six locations to serve you. Wow. For me? You guys don't even know where I've been. How did you know I was gonna be here? Wow, that's just amazing. Like McDonald's, we got all these locations to serve you. Really? Do you? Or is it just, uh, like you put them here to make money? Is it really for me? Just me only? It's not. Spoilers. It's not. God damn. Okay. Lay down. Lay down. I'm doing pretty good with dealing uh, with multiple zombies now. These days. Down. Everybody get the fuck down! Alright. Everybody dead here? I think so. Alright. Now, I saw some nails, uh, which made me want to explore this store just a little further. But holy tits, are there a lot of zombies here or what? The answer is yes. Yes, there are. Candle, matches, nails, bags of concrete powder. What kind of place is this? You're selling nails as, like, <laughs> valuable earrings? We've got wedding rings, we've got earrings, uh, you could buy this nail too. That's a pretty punk earring. The kids seem to like it. The kids! Oh, think of the children! I won't. I won't think of the children! We're getting through this mall pretty well. This looks like a, a hair cutting studio of some sort. A barbershop? Or a salon? You'd think that those two things are interchangeable, but they are not. A barbershop is for men. A salon is for women. And gay men. <laughs> ah, facts. Just facts from your friend Dayton does here. I went to a salon once and they're like, trying to cut my hair all fucking weird and lopsided and I was like, huh? What? Why? What? 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 Why? You guys need to learn how to do a man's hair, alright? We're not all foofy little boys in here. Well, this seems pretty empty. Chips, orange soda. That's pretty good. Magazines? Books? Oh, this is, a. Uh... Like when you're in the airport or something like that. And they, oh god, fucking damn it. I think the dogs just killed each other. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for that, but that's what happens to your dogs if you just fucking leave them. You're like, go ahead guys, form a pack mentality. Well guess what? One of them is going to think that they're the boss of all the other ones. And they're going to beat the shit out of them. The secret to having well-behaved dogs is to uh, let them know that you are the boss. And that doesn't necessarily involve beating the shit out of them. In fact, if you really want to be a good pack leader, don't do that. All you need to do is that little Caesar Milan shit. Psh, psh. Pinch him on the neck. Just a little. A little pinch. It's like a, a nip. They recognize that. They're like, oh, I know what that means. It means you don't like the shit that I'm doing right now. That's right. Very good. 
You're not as dumb as you look. Oh god. <laughs> Just pass around this pillar and the zombie's like, Hey bro, what's up dude? No, not much dude. I'm just trying to buy some weed, man. Can you hook me up? Nah, dude. We don't sell weed no more. Uh, we got Molly, if you're into that. Nah, dude, I don't do Molly. I'm not like one of those raver kids. And he's like, what's a raver kid? And then I said, god damn. I feel old. It just feels so old. We've been to this part of the mall before. Ooh, getting a little uh, peckish, a little bit tired. I'm gonna look in my bag here. Find them MREs. We can eat just like a... Eat a quarter of it. Just eat the applesauce out of it. Mmm, that's good. We'll save the rest. I'm gonna go up. Haven't been to the second floor of the mall quite yet. Toys, toys, toys! It's not sexual! <laughs> I should have looked for some sheets and shit like that in the, uh, the clothing departments. That would probably be where they held those things, yes? There's another jewelry store that's gonna try and sell me fucking safety pin, safety pins and nails. But we gotta try and get in there. Why? Because it's what the Dayton do! Oh, good. Killed those guys in quick succession. If you guys weren't brothers in life, you are now brothers in death. And there's the, your black brother. <laughs> who was abandoned by your father, Bill Clinton, when he was uh, a child. I don't know if that story's true. But I heard some shit about that, and I thought it was pretty funny. Um, okay. Concrete nails. Yeah, this is looking all like the, the same shit I saw before, right? Right. But we are dealing with these zombies pretty well. I thought the mall was going to be like overrun and completely terrifying. And now I'm just like, uh, whatever. It's a normal day, dude. It's fine. Just make sure there's nobody behind me. Alright. And one, and two. How about you, bitch? How you living? One, two. That's right, we're getting most of these with two. Pens, tissues, I don't understand what the point of these stores is. What exactly is happening right now? And where did all these zombies come from? They all just fucking follow me up the stairs? Hey, I saw that guy going up the stairs. It looked like he was gonna do something cool. Oh my god. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. There's <laughs> just a, a room with nothing but zombies in it. I pass. I don't really want to go down the, the tiny hall either. Yeah, the mall does freak me out, still, just a little bit. That banging's not from behind this door. Anybody in here? Just you, old janitor? <laughs> nice to see you, bro. I'm glad you're still here. I thought they might have got gotcha. you. Alright. Can I sleep with zombies banging on the fucking walls? Probably not. Oh, the janitor does have a key. Hooray! I've got seven keys now. Ho ho! If we were in, uh, whatever, Legend of Zelda, I could go to the final temple or some shit like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry for trying to make a joke. It wasn't a very good joke, was it? Uh, here's some wooden crates. I don't necessarily need the wooden crates either. I patched up that, uh, that bank pretty well, pretty quickly. What is out here? Is this the roof? I guess we're on the roof. Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! Do not fall off the roof. Do not fall off the fucking roof! Alright. You go back to the bank, if anything. That's probably the most prudent idea. The zombies are uh, getting just a little bit stirred up as the night rolls on. Um, nothing down here, nothing down there. Everything's okay here. I double checked and you can trust me, cause I'm a date and does. Probably don't trust me, I didn't actually double check. <laughs> just so you know. Hey buddy! Ha ha ha! I'm free now! I am free to run through the world as I please! Please don't break that door down. I don't need more zombies fucking wandering through the mall. It is a bad enough place as it is. 
But overall, not extremely bad. Um, I did have to leave, though, just because my bat is looking like complete garbage at the moment. But yeah, I could see myself settling down, uh, trying to hold this place. As it is, though, I'll probably just uh, grab a bunch of crap and go back home. Because, uh, hmm, hmm, how much stuff could we actually store in the bank? It's such a, a short trip. And if if you want to get back to the bank, then you gotta you gotta go all that way, all that long fucking way. Mm. There's some more zom zom zoms. I didn't think I'd be able to knock her down because my uh, exertion is so high. But I was pleasantly surprised. I guess it's not as high as I thought, or my blunt accuracy is just better than I thought. Mm, some chewing gum. She got a Beretta. Mmm. It just gets Beretta and Retta. <laughs> Beretta and Beretta, because it sounds like better and better. Oh, wow. <laughs> just hilarious. Comedy ensues. Alright, I'm going to equip this aluminum bat. Aluminium bat, I guess would be the way that you say it if you're not a lazy American. But I am! Aluminum bat! <laughs> Anyways, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please join us for the next time. We're going to do some more mall spelunking adventures. Because um, I've been having a pretty good time in there. Keeps my heart pumping, you know? Which is uh, good because I don't exercise that often. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. That is always appreciated. Helps the channel to get out there. Because that's what we're trying to do, man. That's why we do the whole thing. So more and more people can see it. And then uh, maybe they'll like it and stick around and leave a comment and then I'll reply to it and be like, hey, that's really cool. Or if it's a douchebag comment, I'll be like, whatever, cool story, bro. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching. And until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.